got a number of calls from um persons in Trinidad, uh, messages on WhatsApp that it's been blistering, I mean really blistering hot in Trinidad and this heat goes on until Monday afternoon. So prepare yourself for this weekend. It is going to be blistering hot. Remember Trinidad and Tobago, you're now under what we call a hot spell warning. All right, check it out. Uh, this is a hot uh, this is a hot spell one it's watch number one it's a yellow alert for trinidad and tobago it began actually on thursday around 1 or 5 p.m and it ends on monday at 4 p.m a lot of heat is in the place and i expect it to become even hotter this weekend based on what uh, the forecasters are saying so remember to stock up on your um, rehydration supplies and you don't want to be in the heat too much if you don't have to all right remember the elderly those that are there and they need some help take time to look as After well them during I this period it's going to be blistering and i mean it's going to be blistering hot let's read from the um, trinidad express it says warning of a five day hot spell for tnt trinidad and tobago have been placed on the hot spell watch yellow level warning for the next five days as daily temperatures are expected to reach or exceed 34 degrees celsius it has been hot Population is being urged by the Trinidad and Tobago Meteorological Service to engage in self-care, such as ensuring proper hydration. All right. The hot spell warning was in effect yesterday from 1 p.m. set to end on Monday. The alert will remain in place until the public is otherwise advised. The TTMS said over the next five days, there is a high probability of 75 percent that the daily maximum temperature will reach or exceed 34.0 Celsius in the Trinidad and 33.0 degrees Celsius or greater in Tobago. Now, what you got to look for is the hottest time of the day. It is between 10 and 4 p.m. So the TTMS is noted at maximum temperatures higher than 34 degrees Celsius are likely in cities because, of course, they're built up areas, uh, concrete jungle, you call them, urban built up areas, and they can feel temperatures reaching to 44 degrees Celsius. All right. So while we have been experiencing hot days as defined by the maximum temperature of uh, 34.0 degrees Celsius or greater in Trinidad and Tobago, it is expected that the criteria for a hot spell defined as five consecutive days is likely to be reached or exceeded in the coming days, the alert said. A hot spell is declared when the country experiences maximum high temperatures reaching or exceeding 34. The Met Service says these hot days combined with a tropical moisture and light winds are ingredients for rapid development of strong thunderstorms on our heavy showers, mainly during afternoon. Although rainfall events may provide brief relief from hot conditions, warm nights are also likely in Trinidad and Tobago. And remember, Temperatures could actually reach 44 degrees in built-up areas, urban areas like Port of Spain and many others because of the concrete jungle situation. So you got to look out for that. And remember, please get your hydration necessary. If you're going out, choose a time of days when it's not really hot in terms of 10 to 4. If you don't have to, 10 to 2, that's really the hottest period in, in the daytime. If you don't have to move around those times, don't move. If you have to, remember to walk with something to hit, hydrate yourself, all right? Take it easy, Trinidad. Remember, we did an earlier video where we told you that this heat is going all the way down until November and expected to affect a number of Caribbean islands. But you're under number five, the one, because it's going to be even hotter in your side of the woods. So take it easy. Leave your comments in the section below. Let me know what's taking place in Trinidad and how you're handling this heat. And we'll talk again.